Alzheimer's is a disease that touches too many American families. But what if there was a way to reverse the disease? More than 7 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's. This number is growing fast. In fact, by 2050, the Alzheimer's Association believes nearly 13 million will be diagnosed. And Alzheimer's not just about memory or motor loss. One in three older Americans die with Alzheimer's or a different type of dementia, killing more people every year than breast cancer and prostate cancer combined. Well, now a new study is giving hope to so many impacted by this terrible disease. Scientists studying mice found that restoring a central cellular energy molecule already in our brains reversed the markers of Alzheimer's, meaning the disease could possibly not be permanent. For more on this, we are joined by the senior author of this study, Dr. Andrew Pieper. Doctor, thank you so much for taking the time to talk about your work tonight. And tell us more about this, because your work focused around a molecule we already have in our brains and our bodies called NAD+. And as we age, mm -hmm. NAD+, naturally goes down. You found that restoring this molecule cannot just slow down decline, but actually reverse Alzheimer's disease in these mice. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Natasha, and thanks for having me on the show to, to talk about this. What we found is that as um, the disease progresses and when its onset and, um, comes on, the NAD levels become critically low and the, the brain is not able to repair itself the way that it normally can across a variety of different insults. And as a result, the disease starts to manifest. And what we did was we pharmacologically stabilized the NAD plus levels in the brain, not making them too high, but just getting them back down to normal or back up to normal. And then over the next several months, the brains of mice were able to fully repair themselves and completely recover all their normal cognitive function. That's amazing. And, and we're looking at the stages of Alzheimer's right now. Could this work to reverse Alzheimer's disease on every stage? Does it depend how far gone the brain already is? Well, we don't know that yet. What we did was tested a, a fairly advanced stage in mice, but mice are not people, and so it really needs to be tested in humans to figure out what, um, where it will be most applicable. Yeah, what is next in this research? Is it human trials and any indication on if this could work in human brains? Well, we have some preliminary evidence that the molecule itself is neuroprotective in monkeys and safe in monkeys, and so that's been very encouraging. However, it's still not optimized for human use yet. It's really still just um, for laboratory animals. And so our next step is we've formed a company, Glengarry Brain Health, and we are optimizing the compound for uh, human trials. And we hope to be in human trials within the next few years. It's amazing. You know, many people already take NAD+, and we see sort of the Silicon Valley set and people interested mm -hmm. in biohacking or slowing down aging. They've been on this bandwagon for a really long time now. And I think what's so notable about this, you're, this is not a billion dollar new pharmaceutical pharmaceutical that'll take forever to approve and cost the earth. This is a supplement that is available right now on Amazon. So, so with the huge caveat of talk to your doctor first, at this point, would you recommend people add to cart and start on NAD plus? Well, that's a really important question. Thanks for asking that. I don't think that um, I think everybody should consult their physician before they start taking NAD plus supplements over the counter. Um, there's um, not a lot known about what happens, for example, if you have chronically elevated levels of NAD um, that are too high. Um, and so what's unique about our pharmacological approach is our agent, it just stabilizes the levels. It brings them back up to normal. It doesn't boost them up too high ever. Uh, we give it to normal mice and it doesn't change their levels at all. But it's only when mice are stressed, if they've had an injury or if they have a genetic insult that's causing the disease and the NAD starts to fall, that we're able to then stabilize uh, the function of a part of the cell called mitochondria, which then results in a stable NAD uh, homeostasis. I see. At what dosage or level of NAD plus was it necessary to clear the disease in mice? And is there any indication of what the comparable level would be in humans? Well, there's not a way to. There's no way to um, translate the the dose of the uh, uh, drug like compound that we gave to levels of NAD because they're completely different molecules. They just happen to converge at some point in the same system. So, um, but what we gave was a very um, normal dose that doesn't. Uh, attain very high levels at all, but it attains levels that are very effective in the brain. Fascinating stuff. And I know so many people are watching this research. Uh, we hope you keep us posted. Dr. Andrew Pieper, it can't come soon enough. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact based, unbiased news for all Americans.